All right, here we go, guys. And about a month ago, I published a video. This is some clips from that video where I went boat picking on the side of the road. And believe it or not, I've tried to replicate that twice. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I drove down all the main streets in Freeport, New York, a big boating community, the Miracle Mile, Guy Lombardo Boulevard, could not find one single boat for sale on the side of the road. I, I was incredulous. And, you know, one of the, the viewers of the first video mentioned one of the streets here on the North Fork of Long Island that they said had a decent amount of boats, and I went down that road too, that's Peconic Bay Boulevard. Again, I saw a lot of boats on the side of the road, but none with for sale signs. Um, and coincidentally today, December, uh, whatever today is, December 12, 2020, Saturday, Saturday, dreary day you'll see that in a minute um, I went to check on my boat it's at the boatyard I wanted to go through the punch list with red the owner of the boatyard I use North Shore yacht sales and you know I parked my truck and as I'm walking to the office I'm passing a lot of used boats for sale and I looked at a couple of the prices they seem reasonable and I thought you know what I got the camera in the car I went and grabbed it and we filmed a, a, a video really going over some of the boats he has for sale, the affordable boats. And then at, at the very end, Red asked if we can uh, also show one of the not affordable boats uh, in Edgewater. So a little different, um, but, uh, you know, don't overlook your local boat yards. They're, in Red's case, it, it's been in, you know, he's owned it for years. I've known him for almost 20 years. He's always been the owner. Locally owned, uh you know, great guy, great company. You're not dealing with a Walmart, a big, you know, monopoly enterprise. You're dealing with guys that do this day to day, small town businesses. Uh, support them. Check out your local one if you're looking for a boat. You never know. There might be something good for sale. I hope you enjoy this one. Let me know if you do. We can do more of these. And as always, if you do like the videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like this type of content, please hit that subscribe button. All right, here we go, guys. And little spin on the boat picking off the side of the road. We're at my boat yard, uh, North Shore Yacht Sales. I'm here with the owner, Michael Hughes, but everybody calls him Red. Red, when's the last time anyone called you Michael? My mother. <laughs> Your mom, okay. Many, many years ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so we were talking right before we started filming about how crazy this year is, specifically around just the lack of availability of used boats and probably driven by the crazy prices of new boats yeah and I you know I always check your page I'll include a link in the description and I will put it across the video here Thank you. Uh, Reds Boats uh, www.redsboats.com you always had four or five pages of boats for sale as long as I can remember boats and trailers you're also a trailer dealer this year I didn't see that I, I'd see maybe one one and a half pages and you're probably seeing what I'm seeing that the, the used boat demand is is crazy. It is. It is. it is, yeah. People can't travel. People can't go anywhere. Yeah. So they want to get out on the water. Yeah, yeah. That's something you can do with your family. Yeah. So we said we we you have some boats for sale here. And we, we thought let's show three affordable boats, Red. Sure. And we're going to start with this one. It's a, you, it, it's a 2002, 21 foot, uh, 23, 23. 23 sea swirl walk around with probably, with the exception of the Yamaha F300, maybe the most reliable engine Yamaha ever made. Great boat. The Ox 66. It's a two-stroke, but it's super, super reliable. And Red, what's the uh, what's the price on this one? Reduced to 21.9. 21.9. 21.9. And my buddy Billy's got this. Happy Hours. That's the name of the. Book. Can I jump on? Yeah, go ahead. Jump yeah. On. Yeah. I mean, for four guys, this is perfect. Got a uh, little bit of protection in here too. Got Isinglass. Got a helm pad, looks like it comes with a Garmin unit. You got a little cabin in here. I don't know if you could see that. Let's see if we can open this. We can. Easy to open. Comes with a sink, porta potty, cabin. You got kids, they want to jump away. A couple portholes, opening window up there if you want to get some light in. Storage. Um, yeah. And again, the size and glass looks like it comes all around. It's open right now in the front to ventilate it a little. 21.9, I'm sure. And hard to find walk-arounds now. Not many boat manufacturers make them. Center councils and uh, dual councils are all the rage. But this is nice. Older engine, but super reliable engine. Yeah. Red, this will work. It is a nice boat. Guy that owns it takes really good care of it. He bought a brand new boat. 
Oh, is that it? He's waiting for it to come in. Yeah, he bought okay. a uh, 20 foot with Cobia. Oh, he bought a Cobia? Yeah. Did he buy it from Rob? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, I love Cobias. I know. Yeah, he <laughs> bought a 24. He wanted, a, he wanted an open boat. Yeah. Oh, there's a big live well here, too. It's got to be 35 gallons, I would guess. Yeah, it's a nice boat, Red. And again, with I've seen some insane prices for used boats. So I, I think 21.9 is reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Red, I'm going to step off. Let's see what you got next. All right, we, uh, we just came up to boat number two, Red, and this is the American classic. There, when you think of boats in America, you think of one brand, you think of Boston Whaler. Yep. And really for a first time boater, if you want a quality boat, not an ocean boat, but we've seen them out in Montauk. I've seen 15 foot whalers out in, in the ocean side on Montauk, but perfect for bays, perfect for the sound. A 15 foot whaler, looks like a 2007. It's got a Mercury four stroke, 60 horsepower on it. Red said it does have a fish finder. It has a nice bimini top. Looks very clean inside. And again, you want a tube with the kids. You want to throw a line over. This is it. This this is the venerable American boat. Um, my buddy Spiro, who you see mating with me, he's got a 21 Outrage. And I'm always surprised how well it rides in the slop. Not ocean slop, but sound and bass slop, the, the short waves, this knife's right through them. And what's the price on this one, Red? This one's 15.9, it's a 2007. 2007. Two second owner boat. Two owner boat. He bought a, actually bought a 19, a 21 Montauk, I'm sorry, a 21 Montauk. Okay. So he's just moving up. Yeah. And we've yeah. taken care of it, we've maintained it for quite a while. Yeah. Yeah, and th this is such a simple boat too. I mean, literally, you get back to the dock, you spend about five minutes hosing it off, maybe run some fresh water through the engine, and you're done. And you said it does, we didn't take the cover off, but it has a... It has a GPS it, combo unit. Fish combo unit, okay. Binder. All right. Yeah. Good price. Good price. What do you want to show us next, Fred? Uh, we'll take a look at... Maybe we... Walker Diesel. Oh, ooh. One yeah. of my favorite old. That's boats. your... Anytime I talk to you, Red, you want to talk about Parker's. You know, we reviewed a brand new 23 Parker, not a brand new, a, uh, a friend of mine has a 23 Parker pilot house and we went out fishing in it in Montauk. I haven't shown that video, but I showed clips in the overview video. I was surprised how well they rode because you always hear people bash Parkers that they pound, they pound. But we were in some big seas that day and I was super impressed. And and this looks like a 25 because I was on the 23 and this looks this significantly bigger. Yeah, so it's not the pilot house, it's Diesel the walk power. around. Yeah, so any idea what kind of power? Uh, it's a it's a, it's a Merc Cruiser diesel, a Bravo 3. Okay. I think it's a, it's I think it's a Detroit diesel that Merc Cruiser puts their name on. Okay. The Bravo 3 duo prop. Yeah, so Red is saying it's a Bravo 3 duo prop and he said a Merc Cruiser diesel and I stopped the camera because I, I thought maybe Red was hitting the bottle a little this morning, but uh, not yet, not, <laughs> not, yet. Five. not till five. But son of a gun, it is a, a, a Merc Cruiser diesel. We'll do some research on, on uh, you know, who really makes it. I don't think Mercury produces diesel engines. Red thinks it might be Detroit diesel, I think it might but, be Detroit. but we'll check that out. And I did, I did look it up. It's a tri party arrangement between Cummins, not Detroit diesel. Uh, Merc Cruiser and a company in Italy called VN Motori that used to make the diesels for BMW. At the beginning when these engines first came out, they had a reputation of being difficult to source parts. That's gone away. Um, recent reviews say, the guys who've run them for thousands of hours say they're efficient, they sip gas, and they're very strong. Batteries here. Um, very, very clean build. What year is this, Red? This is a, uh, well, Red's it's looking. got 700 hours, it's a 02. 02. So 700 hours on a diesel, those of you that know about diesels and boats, is no. the equivalent of 100 hours maybe on, a, on an outboard. It's very, very long. Yeah, and you still have a huge cockpit. I mean, three guys on this side, no problem. Three guys on this side. You got the little seating here if you want. You can probably strap a cooler right there if you want to tie it down. Or on the swim platform, you could put one. Yeah, big swim platform too. Fish, you can fish all around it too. People can fish off the back because you're not dealing with the, uh, you know, you're not dealing with the outboards. It's fast too. So I've had the Block Island on this boat. It gets up and goes. Really? Yeah. And it's going to be more fuel efficient than. Oh, uh, it's really good on fuel. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it, you know what? It's a Parker. I mean, and it has a, not on the boat right now, but it does have a, a Mrs. Locked, I think. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, figured it out. Nice big cabin. Simple layout, but this is probably at least six feet long. Looks like one adult easily, two or three kids, and you can probably squeeze two adults in here. You can stick a porta potty under that there too. Um, very unique. Uh, diesel's not for everyone, but the people, the people that have them, absolutely love them. Nice home chairs, storage everywhere. Um, they do a good job with the storage on this boat. More storage under here, more storage under here. And obviously you have the putty cabin, rod holders up and down, the gunnels, some more rod storage here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> interesting, with all the rod storage everywhere, the one thing I would probably do red is, is add a nice, uh, set of rocket launchers a nice set of rocket launchers up there, get even more rod holders, because there's a rule red. I know you're not really a fisherman, but with a boat, what can you never have enough of? Rod holders. Rod holders, there you go. Absolutely. What's the price on this one, Red? This one is reduced to 28.9. 28.9, Parker Diesel Power. Mm -hmm. Low hours for a diesel, 700 hours. Yeah. All right, Red. Well, thank you for, for the quick tour here of these boats. They're all beautiful thank boats. Thank you, John. Thank you. And uh, it, it, phone number for the shop. 631-298-2632. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Catch up soon. All right. You heard me say on that Parker Diesel. Thank you, Red. We're done. Three boats. Red, uh, Red asked if we could show this one, too. 26 Edgewater and I actually looked at a 37 Edgewater. I have that video in the queue down in Jersey. These are phenomenal boats. They're made by the the, the guy who founded this company, Bob Doherty, was the chief designer at Boston Whaler yeah, for like 50 years. Then he started Edgewater, then he started Everglades. Top quality boats, different boats. You know, these don't have like a traditional string, uh, stringer system. They're really foam filled and they they ride like tanks red they ride like tanks and this is a 17 um it's a 26 400 horsepower it's got twin yamaha 200s Those uh, are the four cylinder 200. yeah yeah nice motors and uh no trailer uh only 57 hours here 57 hours and they're asking red well the price has been reduced to 150 from 155. it's 150. And for one of my viewers, they can probably walk out the door with it for fifteen or twenty thousand, right? You think? I don't know about that. Yeah, no, probably not. <laughs> probably not. But step inside. Oh, it's got a side. Oh, this is nice. It's got a little side entry door. It opens to the inside like it should. A lot of these open outside. Intrepid, which is a high-end boat builder in Florida, one of their designs. It actually opens outside, which I don't understand. I like it to open it. Yeah, it's yeah. Come well, up the, the dock. Or yeah. You don't know yeah. Easy. Yeah, and wow. So, so Red, th this looks like it's a, a combo luxury boat and fishing boat. Yeah, you, you can fold everything up, turn it into a fish machine, or you can go out on a Friday night with your girl and open up everything and have 10 people. Or, or in my case, with Doc. Yeah, yeah, with Doc. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, and it's got the fold up chair here, super easy. We'll close it up for this. Four rocket launchers here, they're the four cylinder. Yamaha two strokes. Those are the same block as the 150. Super reliable and fuel efficient. Live well here. Uh, boat is shrink wrapped. This is nice. This is interesting. You don't see this. Yeah, yeah. You don't see this on on many uh, on many boats this size. A uh, little sink prep prep bait area. It's the bet, uh, bait prep sink. Little shower nozzle combo rocket. Uh, yeah rod holder and cup holder fish boxes here fish box on this side huge bilge axis here this looks like you would not have oh this is not the bilge axis this is more storage yeah that, that's that's a fish box a storage and that box pulls out so you can access the bilge underneath oh so the that the, the, the box comes right out up. and oh so they don't they they use the the space i got it Okay, so that white box in there actually comes out and that's how you access the bilge. Oh, two Garmin XSV screens. This is what we had. This is actually the 7612. This is what I have on my, no, I have the 8612, but this is what we had on the Cobia. It's got the Yamaha Hellmaster gauge, keys, the 
dual action bolster seats. So you're in rough water, you pop that up, you lean back, you drive, your passenger can be sitting. If it's nice out, you drop your chair down. It's like rod holders up and down the side here. Another little uh, storage here, but another little table here where you can lay, put your drinks down, you can have a plate of food here. This really is a combo cruising boat, fishing boat. 26 feet, you'll have no issues getting out in the ocean on this. Full windshield too, I like this. Little wraparound style, keeps you out of the elements. Storage on the side too. This is nice. I'm sure it has a decent amount of rod holders too. Anchor locker up front. It is covered though. It is uh, mid-December here in New York. So, um, you know, we want to get these boats covered up and safe from the elements. Little, I like this little, you can stick your phone in there. Um, yeah, nice little boat. I wouldn't, I would not mind this boat um, if I was looking for a combo family fishing boat. Perfect size, and I, 150 sounds like a lot of money, but if you price out a brand new 26 foot boat, you'll be surprised, and this comes already loaded with all the electronics, and uh, what was that, Red, 70 something hours? Very low 50, hours. 51 hours. 51 hours, never I'm mind. I'm sorry, 57 hours. 57, Original all right, you got the 50 right, I had a seven, let's call it even. Uh, all right. Awesome boat. Well, thank you again, Red. This thank was you. fun. Appreciate it. Maybe you get more used boats and we'll come back and do this again. That'd be great, John. All right. Thank you. And a couple of quick housekeeping items here. As I mentioned in the last boat picking video, um, I've known Red forever. I believe he is one of the most honest boatyard guys you'll ever meet. Notwithstanding that, do your own due diligence, hire a surveyor. I had a bad experience that got saved because I hired a survey, actually two, two boats that failed survey. So do your due diligence, hire a surveyor if you're gonna buy any boat, uh, no matter from where. Um, and uh, last but not least, there's no quid pro quo here. It, it was spontaneous. I am not getting a discount on any bill and I'm certainly not getting a cut of anything sold here. Uh, nothing is being exchanged for me uh, talking to Red about these boats. So yeah, it, it's just something I find interesting. I hope you do too. If you do, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like this content, please hit that subscribe button.